Do you want to find out how superheroes trigger their powers? Or maybe do you feel weak or powerless because of the experience of pain that you have? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how superheroes trigger their powers, including the power of the Marvel Infinity Stone, so you can bring back these powerful moments in your life. Once you notice these superheroes triggering these powers, you won't be able to unsee it. Hi, I'm Daniel Dagenart from the Rethink Pain Workshop. I am a hypnophysio who geeks out on pop culture healing references and how I can use them to help me and others. Now let's get into this episode of Pop Culture Healing, Infinity Power Stone Edition. The Power Stone represents the destructive nature of the universe, which is incredibly powerful and can, capable of annihilating entire planets. The Power Stone was used by the Celestials in order to destroy planets and single civilizations with a single action until it was forgotten in that tiny orb that Star-Lord eventually does find. As the Infinity Stone, it embodies both the sustaining and the destructive forces within the universe. And what we see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is more of the destructive side, but it does have that sustaining uh, component as well. And it uh, provides the, the wielder of the stone tremendous energy and power and the ability to manipulate the surroundings. Now, due to the amount of energy it takes, um, it's the most powerful of the affinity stones from a raw power kind of an output. Now, we may not have power stones, but for thousands of years, human beings have been found to have immense power. The greatest conquerors of the world, from Genghis Khan to Julius Caesar, understood this. We have this immense power to sustain us, to build and to grow. And leaders like Nelson Mandela and Gandhi showed this uh, capacity of healing and power within us too. And like all Infinity Stones, the Power Stone is among the most powerful artifacts in the universe, with only beings of extraordinary constitution being able to use it, while less powerful beings, like human beings, <laughs> would erupt into a violent explosion. Now, the more powerful the human or the being is, the longer it takes for that Power Stone to, uh, stone to destroy. Now this brings back something else in a different part of the Marvel Universe. With great power comes great responsibility. You need to be able to train and uh, this ability to harness your power, this raw power that you have potential before using it. And that's about understanding more about the mind and the body and how these triggers can work. Another interesting point with these, uh, with the Power Stone, is that if multiple beings are linked together, the stone is distributed amongst all of them, making it easier to withstand those effects. And this is shown in the Gardens of the Galaxy when they're all holding their hands together and their, their ability to hold and use that stone for those moments. And if you've ever watched the All Blacks Haka, you'll understand what I'm talking about in this, this space. Their actions done as a, a unit and doing that together unlocks a massive power within themselves to be able to go out into that battle, into that rugby pitch. But how do you unlock this raw power within you? Well, every person who uses the Power Stone needs to learn how to control it, to use it, and then repeats that action over and over. Thanos, Thanos clenches, clenches his fist. Uh, Ronan attaches it onto his hammer and then points the hammer or does an action with that hammer. The Guardians of the Galaxy close their eyes and take a breath in order to connect and use that power. And all of these are called anchors. It's either a physical movement, a breath, uh, or a thought, sometimes all of them at once, that reconnects them with the first time that they've experienced that power. And this is something that happens across all different powers. If you look at through comics and, and movies, they all have, especially in those origin stories, difficulty managing, figuring out. And once they click and they kind of understand it, they can reproduce it more and more uh, succinctly and, and simply. This is something that I do in my personal life quite often, but one of the cool examples is from my martial art Hadon Gumdo. So in class, one of the poses that we do to stand at attention and to say I'm ready, I'm ready in Korean is Junbi. 
and it is having your fists by your side. And when the instructor asks Junbi, are you ready? The student then replies with the hands coming to the side, loud, powerful, Junbi, I'm ready. And what I've done over the years is I bring in powerful feelings of confidence and success that people have achieved in the past and then bring that in and anchor it into that Junbi experience. Because then when they go to do a, um, a demonstration of their skills or it comes to grading, when they need to reproduce their skills at a high level, they can bring back that state of confidence. And I've had some pretty good success with that over the years. Now, if you want to integrate your past experiences and your powers, that raw power that you have, all you simply need to do is connect with an experience that you've, you've had in the past, or when you're experiencing something that's great and powerful, what you want, take a breath, or notice a word that represents that, or do a movement that you wouldn't normally do in your day to day, and then simply reproduce it. Use it over and over. Just like going for uh, a fishing spot and putting the anchor down in the GPS spot right where the fish are, if you keep going and dropping that anchor and dropping that anchor and dropping that anchor, you're gonna to continue to go back to that space where the fish are plentiful. So go ahead and start using that now. But if you want a process to go through, I can guide you through a hypnotic process right now. And remember this is hypnotic in nature, so don't go operate any hypnotic machinery. Do this if possible in a place where you can relax, uh, put earphones in and follow through the instructions fully. Now in order for this to be effective, I want you to bring in a little bit of childhood curiosity. Just like when you're watching the uh, movies and Marvel movies or any kind of the comic book stuff that you like, bring that bit of curiosity into it. And I want you to really imagine that you're going in, you're a superhero learning how to develop this uh, skill that you have to, to connect with that power. Now, I'm going to, in a moment, take three deep breaths. And to get started, I want you to take those deep breaths with me. The first deep breath will make your eyes feel a little bit tired. The eyelids will start to droop, maybe flicker. And the second deep breath will make them so tired that they just, they just want to close. And by the third deep breath, you'll close them and you won't be able to, to open them. They'll just be feeling more relaxed and tired in that closed position. I want you to want it to happen, watch it happen, expect it to happen. Here is that first deep, powerful breath in and out. Notice the flutter as you take that second breath now. As the eyes begin to get more relaxed, you just feel more tired. That last breath. As the eyes just simply close and they can remain closed now. Feeling more relaxed, more at ease. And in a moment, you can try to open those eyes. You'll find that they just won't want to open because it'll feel more relaxed and the choice of connecting with that raw, powerful part of you will make it impossible to open them up. So you can try to open them up. Notice that it's a bit more of a challenge. You just can't do it. And then simply allow your eyes to close back into that space. And I want you to imagine that you're walking down a path that feels familiar to you. It feels safe and comfortable, but one that's connected with a powerful part of you. And as you walk down that space, notice the things around you, the sounds, the colors, notice the temperature, everything that brings in this space. And as you walk down to that, that path, I want you to imagine floating up into the sky through the clouds and then going, dropping back down through the clouds into a space and time where you felt confident, where you felt powerful. And as you go through that cloud, you're going to be opening up into a space. It might be a memory, it might be an object or a an idea, a time where you feel that confidence, that power. And as you bring in that space and you feel that power, you feel that through the top of your head down to your toes, I want you to bring in that space even more, to build that experience, to brighten it, to make it full color 3D if you can, 
to notice all of the details of the space, hear the things that people were saying or your, yourself was saying, hear the noises around you, see the colors, feel inside of your body. Where do you feel that confidence, that power? And as you do, I want you in a moment to either take a deep breath or to imagine a word that represents the feeling that you have or simply bring in a movement. Maybe it's a gentle clench of the fist or a hand to your heart, whatever feels right in that moment. Because in a moment, I'm gonna ask you to take a deep breath in to build this experience so much now, when you take that deep breath in, at the very end of that breath in, you're going to anchor it into that breath, or that word, or that movement. I want you to ramp up this experience, get it more powerful, feel more confident, step into that space as you take that deep breath in, building, peaking, feeling that through the body as you breathe out, and link that word, that first word that comes to mind, or move the hands, the body in the way that feels just right to you to anchor that in more powerfully than before. And then in that space and time, just give a little bit of a shake and a move in that chair. You might even want to open your eyes now. Just come back to the here and now and then close your eyes and go right back to that space. Go right back to where you're feeling confident, powerful. And as you do that, make it even brighter, even more powerful, like you're going up the top of a roller coaster. Right at the peak is when you take that deep breath in and out and connect that word and that movement in your body, whatever feels right to really make that bigger and brighter. Feel that stronger 10 times as much as it was before. And then, you can simply open your eyes, wiggle, move. Wow, okay, feeling pretty good, that's good. Now, last one, I want you to close your eyes, connect with that space, that memory, that experience, make it big, make it as powerful as you can. And as you do that, take that deep breath in and out, saying that word, going into that movement or just engaging with that breath as it becomes even more powerful than it was before. And as you just sit in this space, and time, I want you to hold on to that space and then a moment I'm gonna count from one to five. And when I do, you'll be able to reconnect with this experience as much as you want. You'll be able to come back to it with that breath, that word, or that movement easily, comfortably. And the more that you use it, just like those superheroes that you've watched in the past, the more that you connect and develop that skill, the more powerful it will become. And that will allow you to be more confident, powerful going into any situation. You can also bring in other skills of healing, of ways that you can continue to promote your health and well-being and just continue to anchor it into that experience. One, coming to the surface, three times more powerful before five. Wide awake now. Well done. Tune into your body. Just notice how you feel after that. You just anchored in a previous powerful positive experience into a breath or a word or a movement that you can come back and re reproduce any time that you want. Well done. And I would recommend the next time you're feeling this to anchor it in. Make it even more powerful the next time. Now, do you have a favorite movie, TV show, or comic book that has a healing ability into it that you want to experience? Comment below and I may make a future pop culture healing episode about it. Or just comment and let me know how much better you feel. And of course, like, subscribe uh, for more pop culture healing episodes each week. And next week, we're going to be using the Space Infinity Stone to travel to a space and time where nothing disturbs you, nothing bothers you. It's a great place for healing and to reduce pain. And if you want to watch my most powerful pop culture healing episode, check out the Star Wars Force Healing episode to reduce pain, stress, or anxiety now. Because the more we all heal, the more we all heal.